All right, everybody. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Hello, Invader. Great name. Sup, everybody. We've got an interesting topic for you today, and I say sup with a purpose today. Not much, man. Just uh, drinking too much coffee and hanging out with the crew, which is you, which is amazing. And then there's a team in the background. Woo, 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 do, do, do. Must stop drinking so much coffee. This is Canadian coffee. Look at that. That's Tim Hortons. It, there's a story, it's connected to hockey, I believe, but that's Canadian coffee. It's all right, it's not too bad. It's cheap, that's why I got it. Mm, 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 mm. What's up? High fives, high fives to everybody. What's up, everybody? All right, let's say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to the whole crew. Man, I'm gonna fly out of my chair. Hello, Gertie, what's up? Lolly, what's up? Love Faith more. absolutely. What's up to you? Pilar is back, what's up, Pilar? The crew is here, the veteran crew, love it. Abu, Edgar, my man. Who else we got? Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Denise, what's up? Uh, Lila, hello, Lila, hello, Lawai. That sounds like a Saudi name, is that right? Am I right? I'm probably wrong, but anyways, I saw it. Madi's back, what's up, Madi? Judith is here, what's up, Judith? Arij is back, hello, Arij, haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back, Mohammed, waffa waffa is in the house. The crew is here. I love it. Who else we got here? Martha's in the house. What's up, Martha? How you doing? Uh, Nur Nabi. Nur Nabi. Sorry, your, your name is really difficult to say, but hello. How are you doing? Uh, Gozi is back. Dale, squad goals. What's up, Dale? All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm in the house. Smart English is in the house. Lila's in the house. Invader is in. Yeah, man. Jose's back. Fatima, what's up? Ziad, Spider-Man's back. Noor, hello Noor, welcome back Noor. Carlos, my man, oh man, this crew's getting big. Mateus, what's up man? Cat, yo, what's up? Good, and I love it how we're using slang today because that's gonna fit in really well to the lesson that we're gonna be doing today. Uh, Ellie, what's up? Giovanni, what's up from Brazil? Brazil. Uh, Satin, hello, what's up, how you doing? Samuel, ciao buddy. And good. Teacher's good. Teacher's good, Loa. He's, uh, he's feeling it today. He's got a lot of energy. So I'm going to try to control it. But let's jump into this. So here's, I got a question for you. Let's warm up. You guys love a good question just to get the juices flowing. Yeah, you can tell I've drunk too much coffee. Ooh, Loai. Yeah, and that's cool, man. Uh, good one, Loai. Oh, there we go. So the answer is from Yemen. So if you're new, if you're new in the chat, like JB, well, he's not really that new. But if you're new in the chat, do this, because it's cool to know where everybody's from. And even if you're not new in the chat, maybe throw it out there, again, because some people haven't met each other yet, so throw it out where you're from. We love to see the internationalness of the crew. So do that if you're brand new for sure. So here we go, let's jump into this topic. I'm excited about this. So if you didn't know, sometimes I just choose topics based on something I want to know more about. And today I have a topic which I really want to know more about. So we're gonna learn about it together. Uh, but let me start with a warm-up question. Chaddi, Chaddil, sorry, I can't say your name. Ali, hello, how's the weather there? Decent, Ali, for once it's decent. There's snow on the mountains and there's sun down in the city, no rain, it's, uh, it's good, it's all right. So let's jump in. How's the weather today? Uh, it was like three. <laughs> plus three in the morning. Let's check, shall we? Well, I have, uh, fortunately, I have something called the internet here, and it means that I can check the weather anytime I want. So let's see. How's the weather in Vancouver? Well, it, it's a, it's a cloudy seven degrees. That's not unexpected. That happens all the time. But we did have a little sun today. So that's the weather forecast for today. Oh, look, I'm a, I'm a newsman. Look at me. I'm doing the news. On Saturday, it's going to be sunny. And Sunday, it's going to snow and rain. It's supposed to be cold. So wear your gachis. Gachis is a Canadian slang for underwear. So if you've never heard that word before, that's what it means. Gachis. Don't forget your gachis. OK. You can tell I'm way too excited about this. Oh, I don't want to show you that. No, oh man, I'm screwing it up. Let's just stick with the weather. Let's look at the weather here. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, let me go back to the cafe. Safe. 
It's not gloomy today. It's all happiness and joy, liquid sunshine in here. See, you drink your liquid sunshine every day and you'll be a-okay. All right, so how would you, the question is, how would you describe yourself to another person when you meet someone? How do you describe yourself to other people? Philippines, sounds amazing. Because they were, hello, the weather, yeah. Drinking instant coffee, JB, I'm a coffee snob. So I'll let that go, because you're cool, but drink some good coffee, man. I'm sure, I'm sure you got some good coffee in Malaysia. Okay, I digress. Let's get back to this. How do you describe yourself to others? Do you say, for example, let's take a look at this. Let me, let me put some backgrounds up here. Let me, let me put, point you in the right direction. Do you talk about your age? Hmm. Do you talk about how old you are? Like where are you on the spectrum of age? Hmm. Do you talk about, do you talk about your religion? Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. See, look at all those different religions. Are you, are you one of these guys? Are you someone else, right? Do you talk about your nationality? Mm. Nope, not nationalism, nationality. Do you talk about something like that? What's, what's the first thing that comes out of your mouth? Oh, look at that, look at that picture. Who are you? Are you a country? Are you a group of countries? Are you more than one country? Do, oh, Lolly, best answer of the day, ding, 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 ding. Do you describe what kind of beer you like? That's a great answer, like, mmm, you know, I like a good Heifeweizen, like this Polliner beer from Germany. Great beer, great choice. Maybe the first thing that you say to people is, I like beer. I'm Kent and I drink beer. I'm a beer drinker. Coffee? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. The video and audio stops intermittently. Oh, that sucks. Uh. Is anyone else having audio or video problems? Am I chopping? No? Is it shaking? Am I, am I moving too much? Ah! Transmission's okay. Refresh the page. Yeah. Turn on, turn off, and then on. That's the thing I do all the time, and it always works. Teachers' solutions are good. I don't know. That's the, really the question of the day, JB. What, how do you describe yourself? Do you say something like this? Do you say like something like that? Like, I'm a Cancer. Or, for me, I'm a Gemini. Mm -mm, there's two of me. There's two. Do you say something like that? Uh, age, okay, so let me let me shut up for a second and let's see what you guys say. So how do you describe yourself to other people? What are the first things you talk about? Uh, let's see what people really really say. It depends, okay, no. So what do you say? Do you say, do you tell people your age? Do you tell people your, let me throw a big word at you, gender identity. Ooh, what, teacher, what is that? Well, you know what? It's not that easy anymore. I live in Vancouver and you get a lot of people who identify in different ways. They say, I'm not a guy. I'm not a girl. I'm, you know what I mean? They have maybe someone who has a different personality. They grew up in a man's body, but they don't identify as men. So we have this type of situation. So boom, you got so many factors you need to think about these days. So that's why I ask, how do you identify yourself? Do you tell them your horoscope? Arija's got one, so she says, I like to mention my age and my personality. So let me pump this up so we can see that. Okay, let me put that a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. Okay, so there we go, this one here, this question in the background. How would you describe yourself? I describe myself based on the qualities that I believe in. So is that, um, for example, protecting the environment or is it religious? Uh, what else would you do? Where I'm from, okay, so nationality, maybe town, you know, I'm from Vancouver or I'm Canadian. Depends on who you talk to. If you talk to another Canadian, maybe you say Vancouver. If you talk to someone from a different country, maybe you say Canada. So is it national first? Personality? So the first thing you're like, hi, my name's Kent. I'm crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Probably you don't say that. Age, location, gender. Okay, I guess people can see gender, so you don't usually, usually, well that's not true, you don't always have to. Some people might have to explain themselves and who they are inside. Age, job, speaking about tea, interesting topic. 
uh, something's wrong with the stream. The picture is very blurry and stops you speaking. Judith, uh, I think, I don't know, it could be a connection problem. Not too sure. Other people seem to be okay. All right, let me give you the link. Let me tell you what we're really talking about today. So um, today we're going to talk about this. Oh, that's perfect. That's the picture I needed. This is the topic of today. So today we're going to talk about which generation you are. Are you a baby boomer? Why won't this go any bigger? Anyways, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. Are you uh, a baby boomer? Are you Generation X? Are you a millennial? Maybe you've heard this catchword, right? Or, oh, maybe it's not a catchword. Maybe I'm old and I don't know all the words. Or are you Generation Z? So this is exactly what we're going to talk about. You're going to learn who you are and why you are who you are. Okay, And we're going to talk about all those things which belong to each category. So without further ado, let me give you the link to everything we're going to be doing today. So here we go. Let's jump into this. I will share this link with you. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about different generations today and how to identify them and how to identify yourself. Well, we've got a few people who say the sound is choppy. Yeah, all right. Well, there's the link. So if you're new to the class, please open up that link. And you'll come to this page where I'm working on right now. So let's jump into it. So what I have for you today is I have a quiz for you. So I would like you to go to this website right here, and I will share this website. So please, let's everybody, together, let's do a quiz. And let's find out who you are. And let's see, let's see if the internet, so please click on that link in that box. Please, let's find out if the internet knows who you are. So the quiz is called which generation are you okay so please go to this link and you're going to go to this page here and you're going to have we're going to go through a few questions and we're going to see if the internet can identify who you are and why you are who you are coffee hmm. all right is everybody ready to go please click that link and go to this web page over here and then we're ready to go is everybody ready for a little generational quiz all right hopefully everybody is good so once you get it open up that link you'll go to this website and then we can start all right so we have a good-looking man in the background there you can see him there uh, so the first question is here oh Dale's from planet Earth oh. well I hope you do as well all right got my got my radio voice on have you ever watched TV on a black and white television a little bit when I was young. You have a black and white television. No, it's before I was born. And what's a black and white television? Are those real? So please choose uh, the following category. And um, unfortunately, I belong to a little when I was young. OK, that's not exactly true. We had a black and white TV, but we didn't use it. So I'm going to say no. It's a little before my time. We didn't really have a black and white TV. We had just had a really bad TV. So I'm going to go with that one there. A little before my time. And then we're going to click next and go to number two. So go to the next category. Oh, get out of here. News. Fake news. Uh, question number two. Who is Dr. Oz? OK, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. So is it A, sounds like some science fiction character, some created character. Number two, someone I purchase, I buy many things from. Or three, a guy on TV with his own TV show. I know the answer to this one, so I'm going to choose three. I've seen this guy before. I know who he is. So let's go there. Got my answer, and we go next. All good so far? Question number three, here we go. Get out of here, stupid ads. Uh, here we go. Next one, great picture, great photo. What is this person doing? Is he weird or is he doing something? So what is this person doing? Is he, A, standing on his head, two, some kind of performance art, three, break dancing, four, something my parents used to do. What does that mean? And five, something I saw on the History Channel. So go ahead, you choose your answer. I know the answer, so I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to go ahead, and then you're on question number four. Get out of here. Next one, everyone on four? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, maybe. 
Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyways, you do your answer, I'll do mine. Do your best, so choose the answer. Don't, don't look at, you know, if I choose that answer, don't choose my answer, choose your answer because that's, we, that's the purpose of this quiz. Next one, you know hip hop. You know hip hop, right? Eminem, hip hop. Let's take a look, shall we? Hip hop. What do we got here? There's some hip hop, some hip hop dancing. You know what it is. Let's see, let's see what if they got the moves. Boom, look at that, look at those moves. Very nice. Is that Fergie Ferg? Nice, good moves. All right, so there we go. We got that. Uh, so you know hip hop. What do you think of it? Do you love it? It was okay for a little while, but this recent stuff is not cool for me. Oh, that might be me. It's too vulgar. It's too rude. It's too offensive and sexual. <gasps> too sexual for me. Or is that something like the Lindy Hop? Not sure with that. That sounds like a very old reference, like you don't understand what it is. But I'm gonna have to go with this category. I thought it was cool, but I don't think it's super cool now. So go ahead and please choose that category. Choose the next one that you want, and then go on to the next one. Question five, who is this man? Not those guys. Who is this man? Is it A, a great president? That's some guy my parents used to like. Slick Willie, not sure who that is, and a real troublemaker. Uh, all right, interesting. So, I don't know, I don't know. He was a bit of a troublemaker, and I think he was an okay president. Um, I'm gonna go, uh, 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 great president? I don't know, I'm gonna go troublemaker, why not? Next one, you have one free day, where do you spend it? Do you go to the mall, do some shopping? Do you, A, uh, B, stay at home, do some housework? C, play bingo, you know bingo, you know that game? Let me show you some bingo. You play bingo? I don't, think I, I don't know if I've ever played bingo, maybe once or twice. This game, you know, bingo, that one. Okay, do you play bingo? Do you watch the grandkids? Okay, this is an obvious one here. Uh, I don't know, free day. I do some housework sometimes, so I guess I have to be honest, I do some housework sometimes. Next category, almost there. I know some people in this chat might be getting frustrated, it's like taking too much time to do this, but maybe some people are cool with it. it might depend on your generation. Uh, next question, how do you feel about the Beatles? You know the Beatles, these guys? You know who those guys are? If you don't, maybe there's an answer for you. I like them but I prefer music with a harder edge. I like softer, more romantic music, like Frank Sinatra. Oh, that could be a hint about your age, or they're okay. I don't know, Beatles are pretty good. I'm gonna have to go with love those guys. They were pretty awesome. All right, next one. Get out of here, sports. Not today. All right, next one. What do you think of MTV? Do you know MTV? And if you don't know MTV, well, so here we go. I liked it better when they played music videos back in the day. That could be me, that's probably me. It's garbage, okay? What's MTV? Maybe you don't know, and I love reality shows. Again, I'm not sure. Cat, that's a very personal question, but the answer is no, still available. Uh, I liked it better when they played music videos. That's kind of my answer, so I'm gonna go with that. Almost there, here's another person you may or may not know. Who is this? So see this woman, do you know this person? Who is this? An old school singer, I heard that she used to be awesome. No idea. That's Michael Jackson's little sister. And That's the Way Love Goes was a great song. So please choose your answer for that one as well. Was she an old school singer, used to be awesome, no idea. Michael Jackson's little sister, I think I know the answer. But again, you choose your answer, don't choose my answer. Choose the answer that you think you would normally guess. But that's my answer there. And last question, go away. How do you listen to music? Ooh, interesting, that's an interesting one. On the radio, on my iPod indicator, on my computer, on a CD player, or I stream it from my phone. Click! So what do you choose? CD player, computer, iPod, or the radio? This could be a, a big indicator uh, <laughs> of what you do. And then click the button here, submit, and it will tell you 
get your result. Okay, give it to me. Analyzing responses. I'm a baby boomer, which is a lie. I'm not actually a baby boomer, and I should share it on Facebook. No, I'm not going to share that I'm a baby boomer, and I'll explain why. Not a baby. I'm not a baby boomer. Totally not. That's a, I find that kind of insulting because I look so young, minus this gray hair that keeps appearing. So anyways, this thing, the internet doesn't know anything, apparently. Dumb internet. So anyways, and we're going to jump into this category here. Did it get it right? So, And if you don't know your generation, you're going to learn today. So, okay, anyways, the internet's stupid. That's the lesson of today. Doesn't know anything. No, I'm not going to share that on Facebook. So, here we go. Let's go back into here. And I would like you to, I'm going to introduce you to uh, the different categories. So, starting with category one. So, here's category one. So, we're going to learn about different generations today. Category one is this. It's called the silent generation. So they sometimes they have different names, but one of these was called the silent generation. And this was people who were born between 1928 and 1945. So maybe you know somebody in this generation. Maybe you have a grandmother or grandfather who was born between 1928 and 1945. They would belong to the silent generation. The next category is baby boomers, which I am not. I guarantee you, I can assure you, I am not a baby boomer. I was not born between 1946 and 1964. I take offense to the internet telling me that I was that. Uh, Pilar seems to know me. Ziad seems to know me as well. You guys have it figured out, I believe. And some of these numbers are different. Sometimes they say it started here, and sometimes they say it started there. But anyways, they're pretty similar. Am I that? So, right, so you're right, you are right. I, I am Generation X officially, but maybe I identify more with the millennials, or maybe not. It's possible I don't. Okay, so uh, Generation X uh, was born from uh, between 1965 and 1980, so generally 38 to 53 years old. The category which gets a lot of attention these days because there's so many of them is the millennials. So, hello, millennials, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, you're right. My soul is a baby boomer. I, I, I take offense to that, Judith. I am not a baby boomer. I am more of a millennial, I think, anything. So anyways, uh, I'm Generation X, if you are curious. Probably Generation X. Because these are things, you know, there's, there's things that, go in, that get involved with these classifications. Millennials, here we go. Millennials, you are born between approximately, approximately 1981. 1996 you are approximately 22 to 37 years old see so I could be like maybe I could have jumped to that category and the last ca category we have uh, post millennials also called uh, generation Z so we you also have stop doing that uh, you also have XYZ you can say that category as well and here we go is the last category bye bye okay so what we're going to do is, I think maybe I'll skip the reading part, and I think we'll go directly to the research part. So this is a topic that I wanted to learn about. So I'm going to get you guys to help me figure out what this is. So let's start. The first category we're going to start with were the baby boomers. So I would like you to do this. So here's the, here's the baby boomers category. So all of us are going to search for this category first. Whoa, whoa, cat. Whoa, easy. Slow down there. I'm not sure about that. I dress too well. Mm. Okay, anyways, be nice to your teacher. I think that's the real lesson of today. Don't, don't insult your teacher. Okay, here we go. Go online, and I want you to search. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I'm too old-fashioned. Yeah, sure. So here's what we're going to do. Go online and search the name. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're going to do this. Please skip that. Don't look at that. Delete that. I'm removing that. That's not what I want to do. Get out of here. Okay, it's not working for me. Why is this not working? Okay, let me give you new instructions because this thing is not working. I want you to search baby boomers. And I want you to search baby boomer characteristics on the internet and I want you to find me some stuff the internet result is wrong baby boomers but okay so anyways yeah I know I know it was wrong it was wrong for it was totally wrong for me too Miho. 
Yeah, I know, but it's, it's interesting because some of these generations are categorized by technology. Certain people had this technology, certain people had both this technology and the old technology, possibly me. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Let's start with baby boomers. Who are baby boomers? So please go online and search baby boomers characteristics and find us some information, and we're going to put that into our chat here. So basically, we will understand the four generations that probably affect us the most, your grandparents, your parents, maybe, uh, millennials, Generation Y, and then post-millennials, the babies, the youngest ones. Okay, so uh, Faiza, anyway or anyways, I would say anyways is good for speaking. Anyway is correct, probably correct grammar. Uh, okay, so baby boomers, who are they? Let's take a look at some baby boomers. Do they play bingo? That's possible, baby boomers characteristics and let's see what we get here oh well, here we go maybe everybody's gonna go to this website so find me some information about baby boomers who are they ah okay so here's one strong work ethic so they so they work hard they're not afraid to put in a hard day's work okay so strong work ethic I'm gonna add that to my list that's a good one so, so baby boomer, strong work ethic. Not afraid to work hard. What else you got? Dale's got one. Baby boomers characteristic include a vested interest in a professional outlook and a strong sense of self. Oh my goodness! Wow. Uh, a vested interest in professional outlook. That's a that's a heavy combination of words. Uh, what does it mean to vested interest? It just means uh, a lot of investment in looking in having a good profession, good jobs, basically. They're very interested in their professional work, their opportunities, future, okay? So that kind of goes well with strong work ethic. Strong work ethic means they like to work, you know, they have a good, they work hard, they work hard. What else we got? Uh, Arij, know something, boss? I think this survey is not accurate, and where are you from will affect the result. You're totally right. I know you're totally right, Arij. It was just for some fun, just to kind of identify you know what I mean? What people talk about. I think you're right. I think it's probably pretty heavy on the, the Western, the Western influence like in America or maybe European or something like that. And you're right, it's not going to make sense around the world. But it's just for a little bit of fun because there are some things like maybe technology that really change the way individuals talk to each other, maybe the attitudes they have. And we're going to look at that. And the more we learn about this, we'll see how how much you are affected by technology, modern ideas, and stuff like that. All right, what else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. So Judith's got one, goal-centric, so they have a lot of goals. Team-oriented, so they like, so let's add that one. Are you a team-oriented? So, I mean, of course some people are going to be team-oriented, but apparently baby boomers, they like to work in a team. That makes sense, right? I don't know, maybe a long time ago you had to work in a team because everybody worked on a farm or everybody, you know what I mean? So maybe there is some something there. Maybe there's some, maybe you think about how do people work today? What technology did they have? Oh, they didn't work in buildings. Maybe they worked outside. That's why they're team oriented. Maybe that makes sense. Uh, who came up with the idea of baby boomers? Doesn't make sense at all. Great question, I'm not sure. They obviously decided that this generation, because of who they were and maybe the kind of jobs they had, the technology they had, they had these characteristics. And then you introduce new technology, introduce the TV, and now all of a sudden you have people doing things differently. So I guess they decided based on certain things, certain ways of describing the environment people lived in, that they said, that's a baby boomer, that's a generation X, that's a Y, and that's a Z. What else we got? Wafa, they valued individual choice. They saw community involvement. So again, we're seeing that thing about team again. So let's add that one, community involvement. That makes sense to me. Doesn't it make sense to you? If you were a baby boomer, maybe, maybe you didn't, you didn't work in a building. Maybe you worked outside, you lived outside the city. Maybe some people lived outside the city, right? And they had these different communities or different sense of community. Interesting. Caretas, did you know that after the Second World War, there were more males than females born? I didn't know that, Caretas. Do you know why that is? That's an interesting fact. Do you know why it's like that? Loai, the baby boomer does not part with their uh, money easily. Okay, so they like their money, and that could make sense. 
Maybe. So again, thinking about, I don't know, certain countries in the 19... Mm, well, it's kind of during a little bit of uh, during the war, the end of the war. Maybe people were really conservative with their money because of the war. That, that makes total sense, doesn't it? Judith, competitive, self-assured. So what does self-assured mean? Uh, it's kind of like confident. Confident with themselves. Self-assured. Okay, good one. Uh, competitive, goal-centric. All right, very nice. Grandma's a baby boomer, exactly. So do you, does that make sense? Do you, can you identify those two things together? Disciplined, what else? Strong sense of community, yeah, we got that, very nice. All right, cool, so we've got a few things there. Resourceful is another one, let's add that. So basically, you think about, you have a problem, you, you have many ways to, you think about many ways to fix it, and then you fix it. Mm-hmm. Gertie's proud of being a baby boomer. There we go. There's obviously something good about every generation. That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, don't part easily with money. They make smart decisions based on available resources. So make smart decisions. That could be a good one. Make smart decisions based on resources. Cool. That's interesting. All right. Very nice. Respecting personal experience. Perfect. Homework balance. Actually, children who were born in the aftermath of World War II. Okay, and that's right. All right, let's go, shall we? Next generation. So let's do the next generation, which could be my generation or maybe not. I'm not sure. So it's close. So, okay, next one. Let's search for Generation X. So please search Generation X characteristics. Generation X characteristics and what can you find about Generation X let's talk about these guys who we don't know Generation X so oh, next generation born 1965 to 1980 and well, why why would these guys be different right so why 1965 why not why not 60 uh, why not 1966 so what what happened in 1965 was it connected to TV? I don't know. You guys tell me. That's why we're doing this, because I know nothing about this topic, and it's an interesting topic that people like to talk about, so let's talk about it. Let's learn about it. Uh, okay. Ahmed, are you talking about Generation X? Are we on Generation X now? I like it. It's my generation. Okay, cool. Maybe we could share some songs together that we know. So 19, 1965 to 1980. So let's take a look. So that's Generation X. What do we got? Generation X characteristics. All right. X. Individualistic. Technologically adept. So okay, we're pretty you know pretty good with technolo technology. All right. Let's add that. Technologically adept. Adept is like good ability. You know how to do it, right? And that makes sense because I, I had a computer when I was younger. Uh, what else we got? They spend, <laughs> they spend at least 10 to 15 hours of their time online. Baby boomers? Really? Seems a lot for a baby boomer. My dad doesn't, I don't think he spends, my dad's a baby boomer. He doesn't spend that much time online. Unless you count playing, playing games on the computer. Uh, FISA, black and white films. Generation X, oh, so Loai, me and, me and you are looking at the exact same website. Uh, socially liberal, okay. So a little bit less conservative than the baby boomer generation. They have a little bit more, you know, a little bit more progressive ideas. Socially liberal. Uh, Kat, may I ask where you were born? Yes, you may. I was born in Winnipeg. Well, not actually, yeah, that was Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. It's right in the middle. It's super cold. If you look at the middle of Canada on a map, it's actually like right in the middle there. Uh, what else we got here? Hey, Ahmet, what's up? MTV Generation? Yes. I'll be honest, I did watch some MTV. I don't know if you guys know. I don't know if you baby boomers know what MTV is. Uh, who knows? Maybe the, maybe the Generation Z, they don't know what MTV is. But anyways, yeah, MTV watchers for sure. Well, I watch, got a lot of good music from MTV back in the day. Uh, every generation becomes more liberal. Yeah, I guess according to the definition of liberal. Uh, Nihal said they are independent thinkers. 
And is that different from uh, is that different from the baby boomer generation, the generation X, independent thinkers? I don't know. M maybe because the gener the baby boomers were more community team oriented, something like that. Oh, you yeah, you're speaking about generation. There we go. X appreciate the fun in the workplace and espouse espouse a work hard, play hard mentality. Oh my goodness, you got some big words here. Uh, okay, so let's copy that there. Appreciate fun in the workplace and espouse. I believe I know what that means. Create a work hard, play hard mentality. Yeah, that kind of sound. That kind of sounds like me. I like to work hard, and then later I play hard. That's right. Millennials, we rocks. Hold on, mill millennials can't stop talking about millennials. Wait your turn, millennials. The millennials are impatient, so hang on and wait till the generation X is done and then we'll let you talk. Boom, in your face, millennial. Uh, Lolly, this quiz is cray, 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 C-R-A-Y, C-R-A-Y, cray, cray. I am not Generation X, okay? Uh, Denise, uh, lots of divorced parents. Is that true in Generation X? Lots of parents were divorced? Ooh, didn't know that. Uh, Gertie, Generation X is independent, oh yeah. Resourceful, oh yeah, and self-sufficient take care of themselves all right generation X yay all right let's add that that sounds like a good thing Millennials are like we're independent they're like no you're not independent resourceful good resources and self-sufficient take care of yourself all right very nice cool all good any more about Generation X, or are we on to the millennial? I know the millennials are like, come on, man, come on, man, I can't wait. I have no patience. I'm millennial. Okay, well, now it's your turn. I think we're there. Here we go. Next one. Probably the biggest category in this chat. Oh, here we go. Individualistic, Generation X, K, okay. two individualistics, exact same information. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Finally, it's your turn, millennials. Generation Y. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at who these people are and why they are the way they are. So let's take a look at millennials. Millennials characteristics. All right. Ooh, LinkedIn, what you should know about millennials before you hire them. Millennials definition and characteristics of Generation Y. Ooh, live science sounds, sounds uh, authentic. All right, ooh, this is big, lots. See, there's some big reads you can have on this. So if you wanna know more, read a little bit and see why, why these are. Because sometimes they'll tell you like, oh, millennials are, millennials are, millennials are. But what's the reason? Maybe it's because of technology. Can't focus on one task, that could be a thing. Millennial professionals, personality traits, how to market. So there's a lot of stuff about marketing to millennials, probably because of the technology. So what do you got? Millennials, tell, tell me about, let's change the topic. We're going to talk about millennials now. So let's take a look at millennials. And here we go. Millennials, so you can see, what do they have in their hands? Yeah, millennials got some computers, always got some kind of gadget, some technology, some tech in their hands, right? They're always connected. And that seems to be the characteristic here. Oh, look at these guys crazy having fun maybe there's a characteristic there what else we got here yeah lots of insta a little bit of wi-fi those guys hanging out talking to each other not talking to each other but talking to each other all right so give us tell us about millennials and what are these people like let's go into this category next all right so here we go uh millennials millennials are achievement oriented so basically they want to have successful moments, achievement oriented. So whereas the baby boomers were team oriented. So basically want to have success. They are achievement oriented. And I'll put that, that's an adjective. I'll put some, try to explain what these words are. Uh, millennials are family centric. Okay, interesting. I wonder why they're so family centric. Okay, so family is important, centered around family, right? Family centric. Pragmatic idealists, oh my goodness. Pragmatic idealists. Okay, let me get a good, I need a good definition here. Pragmatic 
idealists. Pragmatic idealism definition. Well, what does it mean? Here we go. Is a term used by John Dewey in 1917, adopted by blah blah blah. It describes a philosophy that holds to be an ethical imperative to implement ideals of virtue. Okay, so here's one. Uh, this is a dichotomy attack I used to describe. No, 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 no. They are of the belief that being practical, pragmatic, and having moral principles, ideal, are in opposition. And therefore, you have to choose one. Is that, it? Is that really it? Okay. Anyways, this is a complicated one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kind of difficult to understand, but okay. So, practical and moral principles are in opposition. Therefore, you must choose between the two. Okay, interesting. Let's pull this up here. Oh my goodness. Political economy and life summary. Oh my goodness, this is too difficult <laughs> for me to explain, to even understand myself, never mind explain in English. Uh, Browson may be compared to utilitarianism uh, in its emphasis on outcomes and to political economy and enlightened self-interest in its emphasis on the alignment of what is right. Basically kind of do what is right, do the good thing in a practical way. Wow, that took a long time. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, next, what else? Ambitious. Sure, lots of goals, lots of plans, right? Uh, what else we got? Want flexible work schedules. Yeah, that sounds right. Want flex I want that. So maybe I'm a millennial. I like flexible work. I don't like to, you know, be locked into something. I like flexibility. So maybe I got a little mix going on there. Okay. Non-religious. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Hello, Brahim. We're talking about millennials. Are you a millennial or are you a uh, Generation X? Uh, wh where would you fall in? They are communicators. Okay, so good at good at talking to people. Multitaskers basically can do many things at the same time. That works as well. So communicators, multitaskers, non-religious, all adjectives. Multitaskers, family centric, got that. Yeah, it is a bit of an oxymoron, Caritas. I mean, it seems to be it's a it's a weird mix between the two, so yeah. Uh, I don't get why there's so many labels, so many la so many labels on people. I think it is crazy and irrelevant. Yeah, I do agree with you, Kat, as well. But at the same time, I guess what they're doing is they kind of said, okay, well, look, these gr this group of people kind of act in the same way, and this group of people kind of act, so they put them in the category, put them in. The there are definitely difference between, you know what I mean? Think about your parents' generation and think about your generation. There are definitely some differences going on between those two. I had to teach my mom how to use Facebook. And now I know Facebook is not even popular. Everybody's using something else. And I probably don't even know what that is. It's probably not Instagram or Snapchat. It's probably something new. So there you go. Nomadic. That makes sense to me. I've lived abroad. Have you guys ever lived abroad? Do you like, I mean, everybody likes traveling, of course, but kind of like the adventure of living abroad and you don't have to stay in one place the whole time. That's an in. So nomadic means you like to travel. Uh, a nomadic wanderer or something like that. A uh, large gap between them and the previous one. Yes, I agree. Express themselves. Yeah, like I am this person and I'm going to tell everybody. I'm not going to like hide anything inside. They're very expressive with who they are. Uh, what else we got? Uh, around themselves with a lot of distraction. I never like older people who are very judgmental. Millennials are the best. Multitaskers, they like anything new, maybe evolution. Tech savvy, yes. Savvy means you're very good at it. So if you are tech savvy, it means you can, you, you, you're you okay with technology. You're not my mom. Every time we Skype, every every time we Skype, she has a problem like finding, finding the video and turning on the video. I say, mom, it's in the same place every time. I promise they didn't change it. You know what I mean? And she... I don't know where the video is. I can't find it. Oh, just give me a minute here. That's my mom's voice. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Tech savvy. Millenniums are concerned for nature. All right. Very nice. Okay. Cool. Good, good. All right. We've expressed the millennials. And now, probably the category that I personally don't know anything about is the post millennials. Basically, 
anyone from this category born between 1997. That's really early. And uh, so basically someone who is 0 to 21 years old. Now I know these people. I have students in my class who are post-millennials. But um, let's find out a little bit more, shall we? So the last category we're going to look at is really young people. Anyone uh, who is 0 to 21, so babies. Babies are post-millennials. Uh, anyone from 0 to 21 years old is a post-millennial, also called Generation Z. So what would be, what would be some characteristics of these people? Let's take a look and let's see. Post-millennial. Post-millennial characteristics. Let's see what we get. Uh, and you can see a lot of people spend time marketing to these people, right? Because I guess they're all online. So there's a lot of stuff out there. So let's see. Let's see what we can find. Do, do, do. Post-millennial characteristics. According to Forbes 2015, the generation after millennials, Generation Z, Canadian pronunciation, which they defined as people born from the mid-1990s to the early 2000s, made up 25% of the U.S. population, making them a larger cohort than baby boomers or millennials. So the biggest population right now makes sense. Uh, what are the characteristics of Generation Z? Okay, let's take a look. Their media consumption habits are different from previous generations, even millennials. Ooh, that's interesting. Why would they be different? Spend all their time on YouTube? All right, here we go. Oh, what do we got here? Here we go. Here's an interesting one. Most used devices. Oh, oh really? Millennials, desktop, 16.4 hours. Smartphone, 14.8 hours. TV, 14.8. And then Generation Z, Smartphone less. Why would they be? Why would they be less? Why would why would Generation Z use technology less than Millennials? That doesn't make sense to me. Why would TV TV twenty four okay going down? That makes sense. Sure. Top use social media. Oh, here we go. Let's take a look. Pretty similar. Pinterest back in the day. And what is that? Somebody tell me what this is. This little green thing. Because I have no idea what that is. What is that? See this one? What is that? Somebody, somebody who's young, please explain that to me because I don't know that one. You can see it didn't change too much. Uh, what else we got here? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, okay, so there we go. So here we go. What else can you tell? So tell me something about post millennials. What are these people like? The guide, ooh, the guide to everything about Generation Z. Yeah, here we go. Tell me. Uh huh. Millennials. Influences family by spending bill by spending by the billions. Impacts technology, digital communication. Okay, this is like an actual report. Maybe that's a little too serious for what I want. They prefer prefer cool products over cool experiences. Uh, entrepreneurial tech savvy, both generations. They respond to edgy campaigns. Uh, edgy is like, do you know edgy? Edgy means uh, they basically, the if you see some commercial and it makes some people angry, post-millennials will be like, oh, that's a good commercial. It, like, <laughs> it makes people upset. What else we got? Video game addicts, okay, good to know. Makes sense. I kind of like my video games too, but I'm definitely not addicted. And do you guys know anything about e-gaming? Like e-gaming is huge and how big it is and how much money some people make playing video games and it's only getting bigger. So if you didn't know, maybe you were a baby boomer, maybe you were Generation X, but I know, so maybe I'm not Generation X. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm a little, little hipper than that. Maybe I shouldn't say hip. Kind of gave me away at my age. Video games addict, yeah. You're one of them like watching YouTube. Yeah, it seems like everything happens on YouTube, Nana. It's like little cute videos and funny stuff. Have you guys ever watched a guy called Logan Paul? You know, we do this stuff on YouTube and I checked out this guy. His name's Logan Paul. Let me show you a picture of Logan Paul. And I'll be honest, when I saw this guy uh, and I watched what he does on YouTube, I was really disappointed in the current generation 
I was really disappointed in post millennials. I watched this guy and I thought, man, what an idiot. So <laughs> just if you watch him, just he, he, you know, he's very famous, he's very successful, but he makes money just by doing crazy stuff, just crazy stuff. He's, he's just crazy, big dummy. That's what I think of him. So anyways, I was really disappointed in the post-millennial generation. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if you like this guy, but ass. So unfortunately, you hate his brother. Well, there you go. Well, they both seem pretty, pretty stupid, so... All right, tell me more. What else you got about um, post-millennials? What else can you tell me here? Uh, they want to create co-culture. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. Meet the post-generation. What to expect from post-millennials? Tell me. Feet. Go away. Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, these are some big reads. These are some heavy reads. Oh, here we go. Eight differences between Generation Z and Millennials could be good. <laughs> Less focused. That's a negative one. So maybe post millennials are even less focused than millennials, which would be crazy because I've met some millennials who are really, really not focused. So there we go. Uh, they're changing the distinction between childhood and adulthood. Can't stand older men playing video games. Come on. I don't know. Could be good. Could be good for your brain. What if video games were good for your brain? Wouldn't you play them? They prefer cool products over cool experiences. I, I read that one. I'm not sure what it means, but yeah, Logan Paul. It might be a generational thing. It might be like people from different generations hate Logan Paul, but maybe if you're a post-millennial, maybe you kind of like Logan Paul. Create co-culture. Yes, I got that one as well. So there we go. So we got a few things there. So let's let's finish off by kind of taking a look at the different generations just kind of here and if you if you just go here and you search different generations you might get one of these charts and it kind of gives you a look at like multiple generations at work so it talks about them and some key characteristics that you might use um, it's kind of an interesting conversation to have uh, what else we got here look over here where was it this one here and you can kind of see what they might look like five generations working side by side in 2020. Uh, what kind of experiences did each person have? So again, it depends where you're from. Um, genera so boomers, uh, Vietnam War, the moon landing, women's civil rights, uh, maybe more experiments, they're innovators, they're hardworking, right? Maybe back in the day. I don't know if you guys can see this. Personal computers, maybe a little bit. And then you go to Generation X and it says the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, the Gulf War uh, in Saudi Arabia, Generation X, more independent, free agents. Uh, they experienced the internet, MTV, AIDS, uh, mobile phones. And then millennials, you had maybe some something like the 9-11 attacks. More community service, not sure what that means. Immediacy, they want to do things now because, you know, with the internet you get everything now. So maybe that's millennials, they want everything now. They're confident, they have a lot of diversity, you know, oh, I'm not this way, I'm this way, so don't call me this, I'm actually that. Social everything, Google, Facebook, all those things, right? And Generation uh, Z, the 20, well, whatever, 15 and younger, they're optimistic, lots of expectation, lots of applications on their cell phone, uh, social games, and tablet devices. So you can see there's seems to be a lot affected by political situations, economic situations, technology is a big one as well. So kind of you can kind of put people into these different categories. So I guess the final thing would be just do you agree? Do you agree that you kind of fit into that category? Are there some things that you can totally agree with? Probably not. If you're like me, you're kind of trapped between two generations. Maybe you're a little bit on the generation uh, X side, but you're maybe you're also stuck a little bit in the in the millennial side. But I wouldn't say I'm a true millennial. I say I got a little more focus than some of the millennials do. So there we go. Um, that's your category. Those are some things that might that might make sense to you and might connect to who you are as uh, as your generation. So uh, there we go. And I think we've done what we needed to do. We kind of looked at it. So any thoughts? Do you feel so? Let me finish with a final question here. Do you feel that 
that those definitions are accurate for you. Because some people say, yeah, I'm a millennial, right? And some people say, yeah, I'm a Generation X, or yeah, I'm a baby boomer. So do you agree that these things kind of make sense to you? Because I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I'm not sure. Some of the things I can, I, can definitely, I can definitely connect to in Generation Y, and some of the things I can definitely connect to in Generation X, like MTV. I did watch some MTV. Somehow, Wafa, yeah, nope, not at all. Cat's not buying this, this, whole, this whole thing as well. Not feeling it. Technology use, stuff like that. Parents, no, no one agrees with this at all. Everybody's like, nope, stereotype. Zara, a little bit to some extent. Anyone else, what do you think? Nope. No, not feeling it. No one's feeling it. Okay, so it's just a bunch. It might be just a bunch of garbage. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to tell anybody you're a millennial. Kind of, yeah, somewhere between Y and Z, Denise. Okay. Age doesn't matter. You're right. I did teach my mom how to use Facebook, so that's kind of cool. Maybe she jumped a little bit in, in one of those ways, but she still can't find the Skype button, so... I guess you'll never truly jump to another gap, another situation. All right, there we go. That's it. How old is my mother? My mother is uh, 70. So she's definitely, in the, she definitely in the baby boomer category. She's definitely in the baby boomer category. She's uh, not really good with, I had to teach her about technology. So, so there you go. So maybe you know someone who's a baby boomer in Generation X, a millennial, or a post-millennial, and maybe you understand them better. So if anyone asks you, like, oh, you know, what do you, what do you think people are like? Oh, millennials, crazy, right? Post-millennials, don't even get me talking about it. All right, so there we go. Huge lag, Caritas, a little bit, little bit slow on the stream today. Is everyone having a problem on the stream today, not coming in clearly today? There might have been a little internet lag going on somewhere. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little bit about different generations. Millennials and Generation X and Y and Z and all those crazy ones. And you, understand, you understand yourself a little bit better. Keeps getting disconnected. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Not sure what's happening. Could be a problem with the Wi-Fi at the school. It's all good on my end. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned a little bit about how to talk about uh, different generations. And that's it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow, same smart time, same smart place. We'll be back, if you are new to the chat, every Wednesday and Thursday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Vancouver time. Be back tomorrow for another exciting edition of Smart. Have an amazing day, everybody. Drink your coffee. Stay away from millennials, post, especially post-millennials. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.